Hello everybody and welcome to a new reaction to Demon Slayer, or should I say double reaction to Demon Slayer. Uh, starting today, as you probably could probably tell by the title of this video, there's going to be two Demon Slayer reactions per post, or should I say two Demon Slayer episodes per reaction. Uh, I posted a poll a couple of weeks ago now on YouTube uh, to decide on this because as you can tell, I'm only posting once a week Demon Slayer now on the channel and there's just a lot of episodes, so I wouldn't want it to be too long for you guys, which is why I asked your opinion and uh, you voted, so I would post two reactions, two episodes per reaction. So this is what we're going to do that will allow us to, you know, advance a little bit faster through the plot. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, <laughs> while continuing, you know, to enjoy ourselves. Um, and for me, you know, to have time to do these reactions because my life is uh, quite busy at the moment and possibly changing. So I can't post as much as I was doing a couple of months ago. So that's what it's going to be. So today, episode 16 and 17, we were in the in a forest where demon slayers have been sent in mass to fight a family of demons, it seem, uh, who, at least one of them, has the abilities of a puppeteer using spider webs to control uh, the dead. And there is now the brother, I believe, who is going to defend her. So I'm really curious to know Probably is going to be episode 16, 17, uh, or maybe it's a full arc. Maybe we're going to have one demon per episode. I don't know. Uh, usually, you know, the recipe for Demon Slayer is a bit repetitive. It's quite redundant. You know, you get an episode, you defeat one demon, or at least you deal with one issue at a time, and it's a bit repetitive. So I hope it's not going to be five episodes long because maybe it's going to be too much. But hey, I'm really interested in these ones. Besides, we have the Golden Trio. We have Tanjiro. We have, uh, well, Nezuko is around here. Uh, we have, what's his name? Uh, the boy. Mm, it's been a couple of days. I don't remember his name. We've got the boy. And we have Inosuke. Inosuke. And we have, obviously, uh, Zenitsu. So yes, without any further ado, we're going to go. Full length action is available on Patreon. Link down below in the description box. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a new video, and smash the like button. It tells me that you enjoy these videos, and I keep, you know, making them. That's how it works. Uh, because if they don't get enough engagement, I may choose, you know, at some point to just stop reacting to it. Because if it's not worth it, if not, people are going to engage. If I'm not interested in so on. I can't, you know, spend as much time recording and then editing the videos. So, yeah, let's go. I have to say that thing is a bit overpowered. I think it's really cool. But it's definitely overpowered. Is, it, is this how he was able maybe to tell where the demons were in the Suzumi mansion? Even though the place was ever changing. Too early. I'll eventually figure out to sync it up. Oh yeah, cause he <laughs> he realized that Tanjiro had gone with Nezuko and so he was like, ah! That's a car. I forgot him. <laughs> case, is incapable of dropping things. I mean, you insult him, it stays here. <laughs> <laughs> <Monjiro>. <laughs> Oh no, they're not all dead. Oh, she's conscious. 
Oh, she's alive, she's conscious. Well, that one sucks. That one sucks. A lot. I love their design. She a threat? What's going on? There's a... It's a really weird dynamic between... Whoa, that was really weird. That was really, really weird. Yeah, and so she broke her. Yeah, she broke her bones so she wouldn't be able to resist. Why doesn't she just get a hold of Tanjiro and. Oh, wow. Oh, the, the arm is twisted. Look. What's he doing? Oh, is he gonna tangle them? Oh, they can't do anything. Clever. <laughs> me too, me too. But I mean, he's in, I mean, their bones are still crushed and they're still in pain and it's... Oh, that was that was brutal but I mean it's good for them I guess Angelo is pissed no head yeah because she doesn't need any head it's just about moving the body Oh, no! Shoot! Good. <laughs> In case saw an R. Fantastic. But then is she going to try and move the, 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 the legs and the pieces on their own? And what are the consequences for her? It's going to be gruesome. Is she going to get killed by the father? What a weird family. <laughs> is he back at it? Oh yeah. You're not scared. Oh, she's done. You feel for her because she's so afraid. She's gonna get saved by someone else. Oh. Oh. He changed his form. He changed his form so it would be gentle to her. He, he, he smelled like the. Ah, oh, I love it. He's the spider creature, the brother. Doing it again. <laughs> They're bringing in the sad story. 
The father. Or is it the brother? Or is it Ryu? It's almost like she want, she didn't want to fight at all, you know, she was just under constant pressure to 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 be a performance and Ah! <laughs> uh, I loved the fact that Tanjiro um, changed his water breathing form right before killing her. He was going in for the first form, and then he shifted to the fifth form, with, which and, and, he, and he added fifth form. Blessed rain after the drought. And it wasn't like the violent water slashing, it was just gentle water flowing, you know. And then it was really great. It was really great. And so we've dealt with one family member. Next one, maybe it looks like the brother some sort of just ahead because we've seen it in the last episode and it feels like it's just ahead maybe on uh, spider legs pretty much like in toy story you know in toy story there's like the baby head with the uh, mechanical arms underneath like a spider i'm expecting to see something like this and then there's the brother who are ratting the mother up to the father it's weird really um insane <laughs> i was trying to find the fitting word but i'm just gonna say insane um with family dynamic and pretty weird but are they a real family because are they a demon family or they're a real family because she says i remember my old life there was someone who used to be caring about me does that mean that Maybe she had another lover, I don't know, maybe she's referring to her parents or a brother of hers or a sister of hers or a friend. But she couldn't remember, so maybe it's just really the father himself who's now turned into a demon or maybe they're just a recomposed demon family, restructured. Uh, but there's a 12 Kizuki here, she said. In my opinion, it's either the father because it didn't show us the father's face, so maybe it is because in the eye he has one of these numbers that they were talking about, or maybe it's yeah, well, no, yeah, it's not the boy because otherwise we would have seen a number, we would have seen a sign. Because as much as I don't, I can't read Japanese, I do recognize when it's you know a letter or a number, of course. So I reckon it must be in the eye of the father. It's going to be interesting. Jumping into the next episode right now. Uh, it is called You Must Master a Single Thing. Let's go. Uh, she had that lucidity, you know, that none of the other demons really had about their fate. They all were like, I want to leave, I want to leave, I want to be a demon, I want to stay a demon and everything. But she hated this existence. Oh, maybe it's just gonna be uh, Zenitsu's episode. Are we gonna see Zenitsu sleeping? Ah, uh, no! Oh no! Oh 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 no! Oh 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 no! Oh oh oh! I'm not a big fan of this. I'm not a big fan of this at all. I thought that I was prepared for it, because you know I discussed it. But I wasn't prepared for it. Oh, it's now, it's like it's crawling down my feet. Can't put my feet back on the ground now. This is my over the Yes, it is. I mean, it was a pretty ugly face. The face wouldn't have been that ugly. Maybe I wouldn't have freaked out, but it was damn ugly. Legit, I'd be freaking out the same as him. Were I in this place. 
Oh, are they being experimented on? Oh, that's the brother. Oh, yes, it is. Look. Oh, oh, disgusting. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, thank you. <laughs> We're not going to talk. <laughs> oh, not the hair. Oh, is this some sort of a plague? <laughs> Maybe the only way to get rid of the poison is to kill this guy. Hopefully. I'm just baffled. This is utterly disgusting. This is the most dis This is... Uh, uh, the thing that I like, uh, the most disturbing thing from the whole anime so far to me. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, sorry, I'm not gonna be able to watch this episode. Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna be cringing so much. I'm sorry. Oh, we're gonna have a glimpse of the the old master that got him. Dark hair, Zenitsu! Oh, that's weird. Dude has a scar as well. Oh, the thunder is reacting to Zenitsu's. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, is this how he got the hair? Oh, that's a nice backstory. No, Zenitsu sleeps! He fainted! I'm not afraid, not one bit, sir! <laughs> ah, yes, please! Hey, only needs to use one, you know. Oh, hence the title of the episode. Oh yeah, oh, he's definitely got it. Oh, he's definitely got it. Oh, I love that. I love it. Oh, I can't wait to see him trying and master maybe the, the, the five other ones along his journey. <laughs> It's not the one we expect, but he's definitely a Demon Slayer. Ugh。And I suppose this guy didn't make it past the final test. That's some love. <laughs> that love. He saw something. You know, there's people you can. Some people can't see this type of stuff. A guy kuru. But there are some people who have it, and you need to see it and, you know, to push it past themselves to succeed or oh, I would freak out you show him sixfold eee, even I am afraid <laughs> Yep. Yep. A fantastic guy like him. That's what he means. Oh, nice knowing you. But I mean, Zenitsu is still poison. Is he? Isn't he? No. Are we gonna get a sad story for the demon? I reckon not because Zenitsu is a sad story enough in one episode. <laughs> Go get some help. 
Chantaro. Thank you for listening. There you go. Oh, trap. What do you look like? Let me see the eye. Oh, okay. That's why they didn't show us the face. But he is not the 12 Kizuki. I don't see any... Yeah, I'm not seeing any numbers yet. Did they resist it? Or is it just on pause because of the episode, because of, you know, the end of the episode thingy? I have to say that the first demon with the little spider didn't, didn't freak me out. Okay, but the rest... This episode freaked me out. The monstrous spiders, creatures, whatever you want to call them, this episode, that freaked me out so much. If you've seen my reactions, I mean, you probably haven't, I don't know, to the Indiana Jones uh, saga. Uh, little beast creatures that can crawl up you and everything, especially the big hairy spiders, that freaks me out a lot. Definitely freaks me out. Uh, <laughs> so... Seeing that father with the faces and the eyes, it's not as bad because it's not as creepy, but it's still... So I don't know what's coming, you know, uh, in the next episode. So apparently we're going to spend a couple of episodes here. Uh, we're going to deal with one demon at a time, but it's good. It's not so repetitive because last time we spent... A l uh, I mean... The whole episode last time was about defeating that demon, while here it wasn't about defeating the demon. Defeating the demon was pretty easy. It was about getting a bit more of Zenitsu's character, which was really great. We finally got to see the story, because when he first told us what his backstory was, he just told us, and it's sometimes kind of difficult to picture exactly how it was, so I'm glad that we got images at least a bit more. I hope that this is maybe going to be the end of Zenitsu reminiscing times where people would tell him that it was no no good or stuff like this because I I think it's going to be too redundant that I every time we get to learn something about uh, about Zenitsu I just don't want to see something about Zenitsu being bullied or Zenitsu fleeing or Zenitsu running away or Zenitsu complaining uh, I hope that Going forwards in Zen 2 backgrounds, it's gonna just. We're gonna get less and less of that, you know? Because otherwise, it's just gonna be the same thing every time. We didn't get any f sad backstory for this demon, and maybe this is the, the only one. Maybe alongside the demon, the, the, the T screeching demon. Maybe this is the only time that we didn't get a sad end to a demon. Granted, we had a sad story, enough of a sad story with Zenitsu and um, this demon also seemed like just living for the suffering and everything. So maybe it would have been misplaced, you know, it didn't build up enough compassion for the character. But the character had nothing cute enough, I guess, so we could do this. Yeah. I enjoyed very much this episode. I enjoy so much Zenitsu, uh, the duality of the character and everything, but you know that already. Uh, I'm going to pop off. Thank you very much for checking out this reaction. Hope you had a fun time. I definitely had a fun time myself. I'm going to be seeing you for episode 18. Yep. Just called, let's see, A Forged Bond. Interesting. And then, sorry, because I've seen it. The episode 19 is called Inokami. Could this Hinokami be the 12th Kizuki? Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, hit the notification bell, it's always very much appreciated. I'm going to be seeing you next time. Until then, please take care. Have a nice see you soon. Bye.